Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are finally getting back to City Zoo. It's been a while. And in this episode, we are obviously going to start adding one of the new animals of the new North America animal pack, the California Sea Lion. But before we jump into it, I would love to thank our fantastic new sponsor of the channel, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for beginners, pros, dabblers, and masters, and it's being used by millions of members around the world. You can easily explore new passions with these inspiring classes and get lost in creativity. There are classes about illustration, graphic design, photography, animation, film and video, marketing, productivity, web development, and so much more. I recently finished a class by Jonathan Van Ness called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. Discover and nurture your centered self. Jonathan Van Ness is such a lovely and positive speaker to listen to, and he really gave me some useful tips to take a step back and really listen to myself, to what I need, and how to plan extra time of self-care. Skillshare is specifically designed for learning, so you won't be bothered by any ads or anything like that. And there are always new premium classes launching to stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So if you're interested and curious to learn more, I highly recommend you to check out Skillshare with the link in the description. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start your amazing creative journey today. So so as you can tell, and maybe also remember, we have this huge habitat right over here that belongs to the gray seal we built after the aquatic pack dropped. Now this habitat was actually way too big in my opinion for the gray seals, but I ended up being like, oh well, I'm just gonna keep it anyway. But now I decided to uh, split the habitat up and redesign one area for the California sea lion. And obviously, we are going to use the area for the sea lions where there already is that seating area. Well, basically, it was a fake seating area that we built with the gray seal habitat. But this time, we can actually make them work with the seating areas we got with the free update 1.7. So I'm very excited for that. So we started off with basically deleting everything what I built here and put some rock formations to the side so I could use them maybe later on when I was finally back into doing some rock work. And now that we have like a lower underwater viewing re requirement or like how deep the animals can swim has been changed from a minimum of six meters to two to three to four meters. I could obviously also start changing the height of the viewing gallery in this case. So this whole water section as well is going to be a lot lower and, and basically we are able to now raise the path and make the, the staircase shorter and stuff. So yeah, I was just testing the seating area in between the two stairs that we had and their size is actually just perfect as if I really made this one knowing we would get these new seating areas in the future and I would just be able to replace them later. It's it's really insane how well this is fit fitting in between the two stairs that we made months ago. It's almost a year ago, was it? Like December was aquatic pack, so it wasn't December, but it's insane. It's absolutely insane, but I'm so happy that this is just matching absolutely perfectly. So as I said, like I kept the two stairs, uh, but just made them a little bit shorter. So I was able to raise the terrain around it. So we have like this flat area to add the straight path to it. And then we could connect the seating areas exactly in the middle of these two stairs, which just worked absolutely perfect. I'm just super happy with that. So I had to play around a little bit with like the grid path to see what would fit exactly in between the stairs to create this straight seating area in the middle. And I think in the end, I went for the five meter wide path with a grid, which would fit exactly in between these two stairs. And I was able to align these seating areas really perfectly in between them. Also because it's really nice that they kind of snap towards the path. So you really have them 
as straight as you can get them with the grid. So that is really nice. If you have no idea how that all works with like a grid and anything like that, I did create a seating area and animal talking point tutorial. So if you wanna see that a little bit more step by step, I would highly recommend you to watch that video. I did not include like the stairs, but just to show you how you can get straight path if you have no idea how to use the uh, grid with the path and I highly recommend you to watch that video as well. Because yeah, but the nice thing is once you have placed like the straight path and then place your seating areas, if you later try to connect like this uh, grid piece path to a path next to you, you sometimes have like these openings appearing or anything like that. But you really do not have to worry about that because as long as you do not delete the seating area or move the seating area, just keep it where you first placed it the guests will still be able to use it even though you have like these weird gaps in between you you may spot it as well in the video while i am connecting the path but yeah i'm covering it all with like these plaster pieces so you will not see these weird gaps in the path or anything like that because i'm all hiding this away and i really do like how this is looking so far with like the really straight seating area and just a covered path with plaster pieces to, to hide the ugliness away and just to make it feel all more like one big plaza where the seating area is built upon to. So first, the, the, like the plaza area before the seating area was actually really big, but I actually didn't like that and I found it less realistic. So I was thinking back of the amazing seating area that Eben recently made with Koali Zoo. If you have not seen that one yet with the underwater viewing with the jaguar and a really beautiful habitat for the cougar, I highly recommend you to watch that last Koali Zoo episode. It's really a lot of fun, super inspiring. It definitely inspired me with this build as well. Eben is such a great builder, really, really love the guy. But yeah, he, he made this really amazing seating area also with like this roof on top of it. And it was all a little bit more smaller, more dense, of course, also more tropical. But yeah, he definitely inspired me for this seating area uh, and including this roof on top of it and like beams holding the roof, sticking through the seating area would not something be that I would think of, but why actually not? I mean, you have guests that can just in real, real life <laughs> would just walk around it or sit next to it. So I was like, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that because it's just really, really amazing. So all props to even for that. And the roof also has like some glass to make sure that there is a little bit more light coming through because this is still like this more lowered area. There's a lot of big trees around it. So yeah, it's bringing a lot of shade already. So I was like, yes, some glass to give a little bit more natural light is definitely something that we should add in this roof. So now because we are like making the area where guests can walk a lot thinner, so a lot smaller, this also means that the habitat for the sea lions will become a lot bigger. So we create more space for them to, uh, yeah, to put that seating area to the backside and the viewing gallery is also a little bit higher so yeah you just need to go less down if that makes any sense so yeah we definitely have a lot more space to play around with here so it's definitely great to see that we are able to uh, expand that sea lying area a little bit more even though it was not even super small or anything like that gray sea habitat was so big <laughs> it was super easy to just make uh, to justify the habitat already but now we have a lot more extra space and we're obviously going to make sure that the sea lions are able to deep dive but still it's not all too deep the gray seal habitat is still deeper is still around six meters but as of right now i don't really mind that and the guests don't have any viewing galleries from there uh, for like underwater viewing galleries, but once we're going to work with that we might go and change some things for that as well and make it less deep I think overall the size of this area, like with the seating area, definitely feels a little bit more realistic and a little bit more cozy. The water level with the underwater viewing gallery may seem a little bit low now in comparison to what we had before. But when you have guests standing in front of the glass, I think it's actually right about the right size so the guests can look underwater but the adults their heads would still be above the water so they can also look into the habitat 
And obviously, once you are more on the higher seatings of the seating area, you will have more of a view also into the habitat itself. So it's not per se like a super big underwater viewing gallery. You still have that view also into the habitat itself. So because the original build of the gray seal uh, area was pretty light with like a lot of white colors and stuff, I actually wanted to change that a little bit too, which also is a little bit inspired of Koali Zoo, I guess. So that's why I went for a little bit more darker brown natural colors in the end for this build because I felt like, you know, I, I just want to do that and maybe I will still continue with that more bright and white colors on the other side with the uh, Rithy Gray Seals. But for the Sea Lion Habitat, I actually really felt like I should go a little tiny tad more natural colors, more more browner and warmer colors in this case. So we also changed the seating areas, the colors matching more with the darker brown colors that we use for the pillars and stuff as well. And we also did use this pillar color as well for the uh, railings from the path. Like right now you would still see the standard railings that you get when you place down a path, but I deleted those in the end and just replaced them with my own railings with the more darker brown colors. So now since we do have a lot more space in the habitat now, I also made sure that there was another more land area closer to the guests. This land area is connected to the rest of like the beach, if you can call it that way. That will also have, of course, an extra gate because now this is two habitats. So we have, we need another gate for it. <laughs> so I was able to squeeze in another gate on the backside. And uh, yeah, they have like this more sandy area, a lot more closer now to the guests and the underwater viewing gallery. But I actually really wanted to play around more with some rock formations and stuff that the sea lions would be able to walk on and, and climb on. And I, I know that that is probably not the right word to say with climb, but like I do have to say, like I'm a little bit disappointed by the traverse area in this case. Because if you look like sea lions in real zoos, I'm pretty sure you have all been looking up pictures. And you have probably seen the same pictures that I have seen with like pretty rough rock formations somewhere sometimes in the middle. You see them sometimes have rock formations just on the edge of, of, of the land or, or whatever. Or even I remember in the Netherlands, we even have high rock formations that the sea lions would be able to dive from into the water. Um, I wish animals would do that in this game, but I don't really think that the sea lions do that. And then I forgive that. I, give, I forgive Frontier for that. But just having some rock formations would not like too high difference, but I did expect them to be a little bit more freely to move around these rocks but there were not there were not at least not with the rocks that i use maybe i used the, the, the wrong rocks but i was actually a little bit disappointed in the rock formation that i wanted to build comparing to the rock formation that i build right now so yeah i had to change my plans a little bit because of that so that was a little bit disappointing to be honest so all the connections uh have to be basically completely flat or like in an angle but still have them connected completely flat. So yeah, there they basically went my plan of, of trying to build some really cool rock formations for them to use, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I'm very happy and excited to still though that to get these sea lines in the game now. It's definitely an animal that I really, really would love to see in the game. So I'm very happy that they are at it right now. And it's just really cool to give their habitat like this extra dimension now with a really full functioning seating education area. I think that's definitely like that extra experience that we all would love to see in our zoo. So I'm really, really happy with that. Now, other than that, the habitat itself is pretty plain, which is some sand and rocks, just like we did with like the gray seal habitat. And it's still like the same area, so you don't want to go too crazy with that in my opinion. So we're gonna do more of like this revamp as well in the gray seal habitat just to make sure that we maybe can also have like this underwater viewing gallery because that one is now missing for their habitat of course. 
And I also want to decorate everything a little bit more with maybe also pieces that we didn't have back, back in the days with the aquatic pack, but also like the natural rock. There is a lot of aquatic rocks going on right now. So I actually uh, want to redo this whole area or not redo, but maybe just add some extra natural rocks as well to combine them a little bit with these aquatic rocks. I like it's it's not bad. I really do like how these aquatic rocks are looking, but I do think that adding a few more of the natural rocks in between is going to help a little bit more. So we're going to do that once we're going to do the uh, gray seal habitat reva revamp pimp the gray seal habitat <laughs> episode that we're going to do. But that is not going to be anytime soon because we have so many different animals that we want to build habitats for. But just so you know that I still have plans for uh for this area and for the gray seal habitat that is right next to it i'm also thinking to maybe just move the rat pandas like really into little asia and use that area to maybe have the american beaver habitat in there like this area is pretty close to a little river so i might be able to extend this river in this area so we can do maybe something cool with like a beaver dam or anything like that and then we're obviously going to move the red pandas to little asia although now that i'm thinking of it i could also use that area maybe to add some moose in there i'm really just thinking out loud here i'm actually not really sure what to add there now if you have any cool ideas like they're for the for for the for the for the beaver we could like basically add it everywhere we have pretty amount we have a lot of different water areas in this zoo like a lot of different rivers so there is actually a lot of area where we could basically squeeze them in making it more like natural not per se being like a habitat habitat but more feeling like oh hey look there's a river oh there are beavers living in this river oh that's so cool a little bit more of like that area so maybe i should not put them in that area from the rat panda because then it will be more of like a habitat habitat uh oh man i'm thinking out loud here but if you guys have any cool ideas or suggestions please do let me know in the comments down below of course because i'm really open for everything you guys tell me so yeah now uh, heading almost to the end of this video i do really hope that you are all enjoying the north america animal pack what kind of habitats have you been building already how many of you have already been building some beaver dams in their zoos and are there people of, uh, that are starting new zoos now with the North America Animal Pack? Or did you already have a zoo that was like perfect to add all these animals to? Oh, for those wondering, of course, we're also going to add these animals, most of them in, in Pond to Zoo as well. As of right now, I, I want to do a few episodes with City Zoo first before we go to Pond to Zoo. Well, maybe I will mix it a little bit, but... As of right now, I feel like I want to build a little bit more in City Zoo. I'm really having a lot of fun here. So uh, yeah, we're going to start with adding more of the North America Animal Pack animals in City Zoo. And later we will also be adding them in Ponda Zoo as well, of course. So I do really hope that you guys enjoyed. Do let me know in the comments down below, of course, what you guys think of this California sea lion habitat that we built now. Uh, part of the Grey Zoo habitat. Let me know what you think of the new seating area. We're all just testing this out for the first time. So we will probably be improving this along the way with our builds with creating even more and more greater and awesome seating areas as well. But yeah, I'm very happy with the first one that I'm building right now. So I do really hope you guys enjoyed and that I at least can inspire you guys with my builds. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. Also, of course, do not forget to check out Skillshare with the link in the description or the link in my pinned message in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.